and welcome to Sengoku Dynasty. I, uh, I'm launching a new game. The last play, I only did a quick first look, just to get an idea of how the game played, what the mechanics were, how far along the content was, and it seems decent enough to give it a try, and we'll see what happens. I didn't, uh, build any buildings. I just built a tent and a campfire. So I'm excited to see how that looks and see what the rest of the content has to offer. I do remember a little bit of this initial part, so I am familiar enough with that at least. I know we need a bunch of stones, so we'll grab those as we go. Sorry, I had to adjust my little setup here. It wasn't normal, I guess you could say. The usual. And looking for any other boobobs and doodads that we think we need. Lots of rocks. Lots and lots and lots of rocks. And we'll just grab a couple more and then head down this little path. Gotta talk to our friend down here, a refugee, Echo. Akko, I'm not sure. Akko, you're alive, Akko. Oh God, don't move, you're hurt. I'll be all right, it's just I'm cold. All right, well, I'm gonna find a way to help. Campfire for starters, then maybe a tent. I'll need tools, I'll be back. All right, so we need some more sticks because we need to make some tools, so. You can hit Q, and it brings up a handcrafting menu. So we're going to craft an axe, and we're going to craft a knife. And pickaxe yet? We don't need. We'll need that in a minute. The adds and hammer. What do we need? A log? Okay, that'll come. Let's just go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to jump into my menu here. Let's see. Knife will equip in six, and our adds will equip in seven. Torch will put in zero. And we don't have any cooked food. Water, though. I don't know if we'll have to drink water, but we'll put that over there anyway. Let's cut down this pine. Grab these while we wait the long time for the tree to fall. All right, so we got our conifer logs. Gobo plants. I just want the log. Thank you. Grab a few more though, since we're here. Um, story is going to have us make a hammer, which we're going to do now. And that's what you're going to use to build most of your structures and things. So I'm going to put that in my five slot, which is typical for most games like this. And we're going to build a campfire here next to Akko, so she can use it. On the left, it'll tell us what we need, ingredients-wise, that we bash in with our hammer. Oop, wrong button. And we need a tent. And we'll put that right there. Can I not hold the button? No, it's making me push the button every bash. That is annoying. <laughs> Alright, so we have a tent. We have Akko. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thank you. I'm going to be alright. I have some fresh fish. Let me cook it for us. But what do we do now? We had supplies. Here, we have nothing. When do we move on? We don't move on. We can't spend our whole lives running away. Look around. There's fertile land, tall trees, fresh water. And I didn't see any soldiers guarding them from ordinary folk. I believed in the legend of the peasant kingdom, and I don't intend to stop now. Okay, so we have to go to the nearest village. So I'm going to hit M, pull a map. It doesn't show us where the nearest village is, and we can't zoom in. So 
So we're going to have to go talk to some people. And there's a guy, typically down here, that I remember from, remember from the last playthrough. And he was magical. He just appeared out of nowhere. I think he appeared from the side of my camera view, probably walking down here. And I didn't see him. So, let me see if there's any loot we can grab. I never explored over here. Looks like there's a boat out here. Maybe there's something in it. Nope. Nothing. Alright. Let's go back over here and find the fisherman guy. Oh, he's up there. Can't take any oars. Or paddles, however you want to call it. But probably paddles. Ooh. Alright. This is loot, so I'm going to take it. As it is loot. Woo! This is some... weird stuff. Is this the Peasant Kingdom? Ha ha! Are they really calling us that? So it's not. But it is now. I like the sound of it. Peasant Kingdom. And I think we deserve it. I haven't heard of any other province that would shake off the lords. Okay, so... We found the Peasant Kingdom. That looks like it's the nearest village, which would make sense. Um, this is the initial village that you'll see when we talk to these people. Let me get some wine berries here. Before we head over there. So I'm not planning on staying here for very long. I explored enough in my first look that... I know the game wants you to build here, and that's great. I think I'm going to try something a little different. I like to go against the grain. I don't like to, uh... I like to do what I'm forced to do. My friend and I most died. You have to help us settle here. Let's ask this question. Are there any other villages? There's Segi, the forester's village. They can be a bit wild, but they do provide wood for the whole valley. If you want to learn hunting or woodworking, Segi is the place to go. Artani is a farming village. They are wary of strangers, but if you convince them, you can learn a lot about cultivating the land. Uwasaki is where the mines are and the ironworks. The working conditions are hard, but it definitely is a place to visit. Nothing happens in the valley without the consent of Yor and Yi Temple. If you want to develop your village, you have to talk to them. Finally, there's Enyiro can be dangerous. You see, this is where the valley's bandits have their headquarters. Okay. So. We've learned really nothing. Let's pull up our map and look at our quests. So, we have to ask for help. And we have no other side quests. So, that really accomplished nothing. This is more difficult than it needs to be. What's going on? The controls are so weird. Oh, I double clicked E, canceled it. This is too painful. Maybe third person? Okay. You have to go into third person in order to make this game work because the controls are just too absolutely crazy. What's that over there? A gallows? Yes, the price of our freedom. In Hiro, who led the first Iki, the alliance against Shibayama Dono, died here. I saw it with my own eyes, so I'll never forget it. Not long after we got our revenge, and no Shugo will ever rule this land again. Did the rebellion change people's lives? I'm not sure. We have a new set of problems now. See that man there? Kohiro. He's one of the bandits who set up camp further along the coast. They want to claim in Hero's legacy, and I'm afraid they may have bigger plans. They got so used to fighting that that's the only thing they know now. Was in Hero a bandit? No, he used his head before he drew a sword. He knew how to talk to people. Robbing innocent merchants, blocking trade routes, and looting warehouses surely isn't part of his legacy did he fight for? For community. He wanted people to work together, despite our differences. But instead, everyone's pulling their own strings, and the valley falls into disrepair. Not what you expected from the legendary peasant kingdom, hmm? Sorry. Okay, I've got to go, apparently. So, 
we have accomplished nothing. Let's talk to this guy again. Oh wait, before I do that, let's make some spears. And let's throw that in our one. We have an iron knife. I'll go in our six and we'll drop that on the ground. Okay. So I guess we had to ask the proper question first in order to get the response we wanted. Oh, that was you. Okay. I'll be glad to welcome you here if it were up to me, but it isn't. New settlers need permission from the village council. Of course not, but the village is still formally here. I guess so, but you know, you might be onto something. The village formally is still here. There's no council. I mean, you're walking a fine line here, but I guess no harm will come from it to the rest of the valley. The abbot in the temple could have some objections, but, you know, your plan is so wild, it could just work. Good, where do I start? Well, the bell tower's in ruins, and it's the heart of any village. Without it, this is just a piece of burnt-out land, so I can rebuild it. Well, that could be difficult, but luckily for you, I found the old bell in the ruins. I meant to sell it, but it's too heavy to carry. I can give it to you, but first, I need to see that you can actually manage all the woodwork. The bell tower should look nice, so make sure you have a proper adz, 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 to make the plank smooth. All right, so we have to get planks. And this give us sticks and charcoal. We need logs. We have to find a proper tree. What is this? Something we can't mess with. Who's this guy? He's the bandit, huh? Is that a gallows? Uh, yes, of course. Did you come to pay your respects? Not sure who's hanging there. Ah, you must be a visitor from far away. Welcome. This is the exact place where the famous and hero drew his last breath by the orders of the accursed Shibiyama. What was in hero famous for? He was the bravest man in Japan. Who's Shibiyama? He used to be a Shigodai. He administered these lands for the Lord. Then the war between clans broke out. He took advantage of the turmoil and grabbed power for himself. Uh, what was so bad about Shibiyama? Well, he supported him at first. We supported him at first, hoping that he'd be better for us than our pitiful excuse for a lord. But he was not. He taxed us to death. People went hungry and got sick. We knew something had to be done or else we'll all die. What did the rebellion look like? Courageous and hero called on us to unite in an icky, and we went to Shugudono's mansion to demand the abolition, <laughs> abolition <laughs> of debt. I read, but the wretched Shibiyama Dono got red in the face and smoke went out of his ears. He sent out samurai to dispel us. We fought hard, but eventually we got overpowered. Did the Iki succeed? Not at first. Virtuous Nero was hanged and Sosogi was burned to the ground. Crooked Shibiyama hoped this would be the end of it, but it only made us angrier. Not long afterwards, the duplicitous Shibiyama sent out his troops to fight clan war. We used this opportunity, and soon we danced over his bloody corpse. Did he die? Well, he committed seppuku. Seppuku. His own mansion, while it was already burning. You can see the remains of his mansion if you travel further into the valley. Ooh, I think I've seen this. And if you want to taste real freedom, come to our camp out on the seaside cliffs. What's it called? In Hiromura. Well, of course it is. Of course. Let's finish later. I've got to go. Bye. Tree. Cut. Harvest. Nope. 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 Need that again. Okay. We need our ads. And we got one. Was that two for each log? Kind of like Medieval Dynasty, two planks per log. Let's check our math here. Make sure. Uh, oh, we have logs. We need planks. So I need to drop that. 
drop that. I gotta take them further. Ooh, did I just do a whole stack of logs in one? That's an interesting thing. Let's try that again. I want to test this out. So let's get all of our logs and we'll drop them. Maybe someday. Get our ads. Let's say they're not stacked up on each other now, though. But I did do two at once. <laughs> hey, I like it. Oh, I didn't get two that time. I get two. Nice. Okay. Uh, not him. Not her. Hey. What are these ruins? Ruins, you say? This used to be my home. In a year, my neighbor started the rebellion. An alliance, Icky, was formed between the villagers of the valley against the Lord. Fighting for dignity? Well, look around. Not very dignified, is it? I have all the materials. Let me see. It look rough, but it'll work. Here, take the bell. Okay. So now, we have to build a bell tower. And this is going to signify the start of our village. So in order to do that, let's first grab as much as this as we can. Charcoal. Not sure what it's really gonna be useful for, but we'll wait and see. I'll just grab some more. Okay. So now I want to do a little experiment. I want to go on a little... Is there anything in here? little exploration and see if we can set up our initial village somewhere else. Straw. Hmm. I don't have to craft it. Already straw. I like that idea. Let's see. Pickaxe. And we will put that in our two slot. It's just stone. It just gives us stone. We don't need to mine stone. Do we need to grab anything while we're here? I don't think so. I think we can pretty much go. We get hung up on everything. Let's see, what happens if we talk to this person? Priestess? What do you do? I am the Shrine Priestess. I worship Inari, the goddess of prosperity and bountiful harvest. I was shipwrecked. I know I've heard about you and the others. I hope you'll find what you're looking for. We're hoping for a new life. I'm so tired. You look tired and dirty. May I suggest a visit to the hot springs? It sounds like a great idea. Okay. Wonderful. I do love the bushes. I love the trees with the blossoms. It's fabulous looking um, for an early access game. All right, so we're going to keep traveling east here. Um, the location I'm going to is um, on the east side of the island. And the reason is because it's going to put us in closer proximity to mid-game and in-game stuff. Well, that's a lot of meat. It's going to make the initial early game a little tougher, but it's going to make our mid to late game better. And this is me purely guessing because I have not done anything building wise or other than making the tent. I haven't put down a bell tower yet. So this is all my first time experience. So everything that I'm doing is the first time and we're sharing it together. check where we are. Yep, we're heading in the general direction. This is an interesting thing here on the map. Um, not sure what that represents, but we're going to find out. 
So coming ahead of us is going to be Iwasaki. Look how beautiful this is coming on these tall grasses. It's like a field that's been planted. Makes me kind of get the impression that almost this would be like a, uh, a grain field or something rather than a grass field. But Here we have discovered Iwasaki. So you got these high watchtowers. I think I have to go over here. Yeah, this is a gap in the gap in the wall. But look at this. Look at all of this. Storing all of this hay in these structures. Obviously from that field back there, right? So that's pretty awesome. A guard. All right, so we're not going to waste too much time in here. There's really not much we can do at this stage. We want to follow along the storyline and uh, get going. So we're going to keep heading east. It's not very far from here. Just right over the ridge here. In fact, um, I'll pull up the map and I'll show you. See, we're just heading right over here into this area. I love these bushes. I hope we can plant those because that would be truly awesome. Now, there are other places on the map that are great for building. In fact, I have a video coming out soon um, based on my first look and my exploration that uh, I'll show where those places are. But what interests me about this area in particular is there's lots of rock that's mineable and it's flat. It's very, very flat. Got lots of trees up there that we can harvest I would keep most of these trees here for aesthetic purposes. But this isn't the most beautiful of places where we can build. But it is... Well, it's close proximity to Iwasaki. It's got plenty of clay. You can see a clay pit there. There's a couple clay pits over here. It's got good access to hunting. There's garlic and other things available. In fact, I think there's garlic right here. Yeah. So we can start planting garlic and parsley and some other things. And um, I think this is nice. So you could go further over here. You can go further over here. Um, the mine processing or the iron processing gets unlocked down here. So I think we're going to kind of go a little bit south, but you can see what we have to work with. So I think it's going to work out. So this big tree or all these big trees, I think they're going to be like a uh, centerpiece, I guess you could say, for the, uh, for the village. So let's put our bell tower right over here. See how this goes. Can we get this? Yes, we can. Wonderful. So let's see. I need a five. I need a hammer. And we need to build buildings, I'm assuming. Housing, storage, service buildings. Nope. That's not correct. Can I go backwards? Yes, right click. Production. I don't see any bell tower. How do we build a bell tower? Uh, furniture? Decorations. Weapon rack. Village structures. So this is it. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. The bell tower. Okay, so we can build a bell tower. So let's build it. So that it's cardinally pointed south. Right here. Like that. Wonderful. Oh, we need logs. All right, let's go chop trees. We're going to go chop a bunch of trees over here on the hill where all these pine are. All right, let's give this a try. Pick up more stones along the way. Yep, we're definitely heavier. Oh, those will work too.
Whoosh. Yep. Oh, come on now. Another push. It's a little exacting on things, which is a little frustrating. I would imagine, especially if this were to be a console thing. Alright, let's see if we can... Yeah, we need planks. More planks. Okay. Our village has been founded. This is our village. So, what's the next step? We need to talk to Tashichi. Which is going to be a pain in the butt. So let's do this first. Let's, uh, wrong one. Let's build a campfire. We need a cooking pot for it. So we're just going to build a regular one right now. Just so we have a place to cook. And we will put it next to the bell tower. So we'll put it here. It's a shame it doesn't take the grass away. Oh, it kind of does when it gets completed. So that's nice. Let's grab our meat. Um, we also need to make a tent. So let's see. We want a basic tent. This will be just our first setup here. All right. We need grass. I think we have some of that. Straw. Let's just start... Uh-oh. No space. What do we... Oh, we have all those logs. Okay. Well, let's... Let's drop these logs. Can I hold shift and highlight logs? Nope. Control? Nope. Can I drop like item? Nope. Sure would be nice to drop these in a stack. That's going to get um, <laughs> pretty weird in the game, to be honest. If uh, we can't <laughs> look at that pile, that's going to get laggy. We already have terrible FPS, and we're going to be required to drop every single log. Look at that. Yeah. Oops. Wrong button. I have grass, I know. Yeah. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. I really appreciate you watching. If you like the content, or if you saw that I did some terrible things, leave a message below. Let me know. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I missed a bunch. I'm sure that you have tons of tips that you can help uh, give me uh, based on your own gameplay. And I'd really love to hear from you. So let me know. Until the next one. Hey, I really appreciate you watching the video until the end. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. That single small action benefits creators like myself the most. Also, subscribe to the channel so you can find future content easier. The comments section below is a great place to reach out and participate in the discussion. So don't be shy, as I genuinely want to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Until the next one.